So let's talk about weed, alcohol, and other legal substances and how they can affect your child custody case. My name is Brian L. Jackson. I am a Tulsa father's rights attorney here with dads.law, where fathers are not disposable. And um, I want to talk to you real quick about legal substances and how it could still affect your child custody case. And I ran, run into this from time to time where people are like, but I have my card. Why is it a problem? Here's the thing. If you're if you are using weed, if you drink occasionally, you smoke you smoke tobacco, or use tobacco. The, here here's how the court is liable to look at this, and this is also for prescription intoxicants. Like for example, if you take Valium, um, the court typically will not care what you do with your own time. So the issue is usually not that you use it, as long as you're not a, like overusing and abusing it. It's it's when your use of it is impacting your child. And it's a, it's, it, may not, it may sound like a distinction without a difference, but kind of run with me on this. The difference is this. If you go out to the bar and have a beer and you're doing it on your own time and, not, and it's not interfering with parenting time, it's not interfering with parenting duty, you're not coming back to the house smelling of alcohol, there aren't beer bottles or liquor bottles litter all over the house, then the court won't care. However, on the flip side, if your house reeks of, smells like a bar, or if you're, you're hot boxing in the car smoking cigarettes, or if your house reeks of weed, or you have paraphernalia laying around, the court is going to care about that, because that now it impacts your child. So to avoid problems, I think the wise move is understand where the boundaries are and and keep to them if you're going to use and if you're going to use marijuana use it away from your kids don't be impaired don't have a house that smells like weed don't have your paraphernalia out don't have it visible i think is the important key point should be secured and not visible to the child as far as that child's concerned they shouldn't know if you use weed or not i think is a good way to think about it and I would say to the extent it's possible, the same should be true with your use of alcohol and your use of tobacco, if you use tobacco, is they shouldn't know. They shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't be exposed to the smoke. They shouldn't be, see you impaired. They shouldn't see spit cups everywhere or paraphernalia or half, half drunk beer, beer cans or beer, beer bottles. Because that's the kind of stuff that a court's gonna care about and that's the kind of stuff that's gonna cause your problem. Um, if you use discretion, the court won't care. I mean, most of the, these judges know, they've been around enough, they know people drink, they know people smoke, they know people are gonna use marijuana because now you can get a card and use it legally. And as long as you're doing it with some discretion and it's not affecting your kids, my experience, judges don't, don't really give a crap. It's when it affects your child that it becomes a problem. And that's when it imp implicates the best interest standard, and that's when you're going to have issues. So if you want to avoid that, just be discreet. I think it's good advice anyway, in general for life, but especially involving your children, and especially involving your children when you're in court, be discreet. And guys, if you have questions about that, or if you are dealing with a situation where you need help, you need a good lawyer. And one place you can find a good lawyer is at dads.law, where fathers are not disposable. Thanks, guys.